नमस्कार माय नेम इज शुभम एंड यू आर वाचिंग योर वेरी ओन ट्रैवल चैनल ट्रैवल खबरी लाइव थ्रू दिस वीडियो वी हैव स्टार्टेड अ सीरीज इन विच वी विल प्रोवाइड द फर्स्ट हैंड इन्फॉर्मेशन टू दो स्टूडेंट्स हु वांट टू टेक एडमिशन इन ट्रैवल टूरिज्म एंड हॉस्पिटैलिटी फील्ड थ्रू दिस वीडियो वी विल ऑल्सो टेक यू ऑन अ टूर ऑफ दिस द एंटायर कॉलेज वी विल शो यू द फैसिलिटीज विच दिस कॉलेज इज प्रोवाइडिंग टू स्टूडेंट्स also we will talk to the the management uh, about the admission process about the fees process and the placement records so be with us uh, like the video share the video uh, follow our pages on facebook instagram twitter and youtube at this moment we have a very special guest mr vimal kumar with us who is the principal of this college and we would like to know uh, about the college and the admission process and other useful information from him so over to you sir very welcome to our show thank you thank you so much uh, first of all uh, it's a good opportunity that we are interacting and uh, so the college is concerned the dari suri hospitality school was Commission in year 2013. <coughs> From 2013, we started with uh, the MDU University with the batch for graduation, and subsequently in the year 2015, we got approval from the National Council for Hotel Management and Catering Technology, which is NCHMCT, which is the prime governing body for hotel management courses. Especially, all central items and state items fall under NCHM category. So 2015 onwards, we have had the batches from. Uh, national council okay and at the moment we have uh, two pro- programs that we have this we offer diploma programs and we also offer degree programs so degree happens to be the bsc hsa that is bachelor of science in hotel and hospitality administration mm-hmm. uh, this is one program then we have got two diploma programs one is in uh, uh, food production that is what we call as cookery mm-hmm. and the other program is bakery and confectionery so both these diplomas happen to be a duration of 1 year plus 6 months of internship training okay and degree happens to be a 3 year program under the collaboration with ignu which is a collaboration between the national council and indira gandhi national open university so uh, what is what will be the admission process to take the admission in this college is there any entrance the admission process happens in line with the admission process of national council okay so entity entity this is a body which conducts the joint entrance examination and uh, for the last 2 years the examination has been conducted by the nta that's a national testing agency okay. which conducts most of the centralized examinations hmm. so under the nta banner national council also conducts a joint entrance examination jee okay. and through this the students get enrolled and right? they appear for examinations and during the counseling process then the college is regulated so this is the standard procedure and there are times when uh, the number of students or the number of seats is still vacant and we need more students or the colleges need more students so there are times when national council also gives an approval for direct admissions okay. to the courses okay. but that is post the counseling is done so is there any uh, seat limitation like minimum, uh, this number of seats you can take on any kind of such type of thing no apparently it is the national council examination through the joint and je that we get the admissions Like to know about the fee structure. <coughs> the affiliating body gives us a fee structure, mm-hmm. and it's a standardized fee structure across uh, the bodies, whether it is uh, the central government colleges, state government colleges, or the private colleges. Right. We fall into the category of private institute of hotel management, private IHM under National Council. And in these uh, categories, ex- apart from the standard fee that is charged, it is the calendar and the fee structure is released by National Council every year. Okay. and being a private college since uh, there are no subsidies 
and the entire expense is to be borne by the college every penny has to be paid from the college penny from the college uh, pocket so there is a bracket of uh, about 15 to 20 percent which we have a permission to be added on to the standard fee that is released by the council okay. so that is how it changes okay. uh, further we would also uh, show you the facilities which college is providing to its uh, students so uh, after this interview session we will uh, take you on a tour of uh, this college what is the selection process sir like is there any anything like you have to clear the test or something like that no so first is the eligibility for the bachelor's program it's plus 2 hmm. it has the student has to come from 10 plus 2 stream it could be any stream whether it is commerce science arts it does not matter but the student has to have english as a subject okay which is one mandatory sure. structure that they have should be clear into 10 plus 2 examinations and english should be there as a common subject okay right. so and based on that when they appear for examinations hmm. the merit is produced hmm. and uh, they have a passing percentage wherein the students have to uh, appear for the examinations clear that basic percentage that is set limit for them and then the counseling happens sir so, as you told us like english uh, needs to be a mandatory subject so what if in case <coughs> like i am not good in english or i can speak english a little bit will it be a problem to take the admission like if i am not good in english uh, no it is not a problem because during the course of study Right. A lot of emphasis is done, a lot of facilities are provided and a lot of opportunities are given to the students so that they can improve. Okay. Right. We have all support available at the college also and during the classroom activities, hmm. even in the initial days, you say the first semesters, it's all a mix of uh, two, two, three languages hmm. so that the students are able to understand easily. Hmm. Right. And we all support the students and subsequently with time they start picking up when the teaching happens, when uh, they go to the training sessions. it all supports them and they are able to pick up okay. so it's not a barrier right mm -hmm. english does not become a barrier because we are more into uh, industry which is skill based mm -hmm. and the moment you talk about skills right so if you are good at skills you can do your job well english can be managed the language can be managed mm -hmm. apart from english you are teaching uh, any other foreign language to students we introduce them to french language okay. but it's not a very detailed course it's mm -hmm. an it's an introduction to the french language because most of the terminology that happens in especially in the food production and for fnb service areas it is french mm -hmm. so we introduce them to them to the french basic okay. elementary french is introduced okay. so that they are aware how many days is there in particular uh, days you no in every semester okay. they have a duration of about 10 to 15 days okay. every semester so that it is revised it is okay. refreshed and with the semester they also advance okay so they know that these are the basic terms this is how we converse if a student take the admission or uh, and he is not from very good background so is there any uh, scholarship program you guys are running to support student oh uh, there are limited scholarships mm -hmm. because uh, since it's a private setup mm -hmm. right and uh, we are managing everything there are no subsidies being sent across so we still have uh, scholarship programs wherein it is uh, scholarship program for the girls if it is an only girl child okay right for the single girl child there is a scholarship program but the income has to be less than 2 lakh rupees annual income has to be less than 2 lakh rupees mm. so in that case it's about 30% fee is taken care of by the college okay so it's a 30% scholarship and this uh, is restricted to two girl students mm. and there are uh, there is one more scholarship which is for two students from uh, the lower income background mm. if their annual income is less than 2 lakh rupees mm. Okay. in that record also we give it to two male students also so that is how the scholarships are available hmm. so apart from providing uh, education uh, this college is supporting those students who are not uh, coming from very good background or have uh, some uh, other kind of financial problem so uh, they can get the uh, scholarship support also. what will be the uh, usp of this college why should i take the admission into this college only? see first is uh, the kind of infrastructure that we have Right. It is something which it, it's not believable in first that we have. It is the kind of setup we have provided to the students. Mm -hmm. You talk about equipments, you talk about machinery, you talk about uh, the modern facilities for teaching. It has been ensured that the student gets something which is beyond their expectation also. So whether it is the infrastructure, whether it is the laboratory lab facilities, the kitchens and everything, we have invested. a lot into this so that the moment student gets out into industry 
he does not get a shock that i have not used a particular equipment okay. i have not used a particular machinery hmm. we have invested we have brought in everything that is available and this esp comes in because there is a very strong background that the college has yes. right the lalit group it it owns about 15 five store properties yes, it's already a very renowned right. property in uh, uh, yes in group in hospitality correct so, yeah. and based on that we have that experience of having these many hotels mm-hmm. and the kind of setup that we had planned was based on what are our requirements in the hotels right and the entire team and entire designing happened based on what we have in the hotels so we have tried to give the best there also and similarly we have tried to give better equipments better setup here so that the student is exposed properly okay right the student learns a lot during the college days also and there are certain equipments which usually uh, in a lot of the institutions we've seen they do not have right so the kind of labs and equipment that we have provided is our usp hmm. okay. and the setup that we have for students where there is a space in the classrooms right it, no classroom is less than 650 square feet so that is a spacious uh, classroom that we have we got wonderful library facilities right other than labs we got uh, sport facilities okay so we got indoor facilities and as well uh, the outdoor facilities both are there mm-hmm. so students can enjoy indoor games they can have uh, outdoor facilities also we got a wonderful hostel block with us which is furnished on the lines of uh, hotels only okay at last we would uh, like to know sir about the placement records like in previous years uh, what is the uh, the placement record which college has nice right. so we would just quote the recent batch that has uh, graduated from our setup uh, from the lalit school we had uh, 78 students in the last batch okay and other than rest uh, the other than uh, seven, six students who opted for their self placements and they wanted to go for further studies mm. or they were into their own businesses okay we have been able to place 72 students out of 78 so you can look into the effort that is being done mm. because we want student to excel we want student to be placed very well and it was not only with lalits we have ensured that our students go into different groups yes so most of the leading brands in india whether it is the obora is the taj or radisson hilton uh, park surya any brand you name and uh, this is uh, mr vimal kumar with us thank you so much uh, to be on our show sir thank you thank so you so much thank you a uh, front office lab reception which we used as a uh, front as for front from for front office classes uh, in this we'll train our students for uh, guest handling uh, how to take reservations how to book the rooms and all those things uh, now we'll move to the next uh, lab which is basic training kitchen btk over there we train the students for basic cooking such as how to make soups salads and all those things basic basic uh, cooking and uh, similarly we do have three more kitchens like this uh, the uh, kitchen name is qtk so this is a bakery bakery section over there we train our students for baking uh, foods such as they are making pizzas pastas cakes danish pastry muffins and all those things namaskar everyone my name is komal dhuria and i am currently studying in lalit suri hospitality school bsc hotel management so i would like to uh, tell you about the college the, faca- the faculty and the exposure is very nice currently i'm living in the hostel and uh, they basically provide very good quality uh, of food of living of everything and basically everything is very good era and the atmosphere is very 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 good of this college and i am kind of impressed by everything what's your name uh, meet meet yeah. so meet uh, you are enrolled in which class uh, i am in first year first year yeah okay so can you please uh, tell me about your college uh, like till now what you have experienced here Yeah, I have experienced so many things. This is a good faculty, the good uh, culture, and we are right now we are doing so many things like uh, we are playing and we are basically studying and the practical portion is very good, which uh, required mainly in the hotel industry, the hospitality th- uh, things which we are uh, doing here, like the things we are doing like respecting and the different things like uh, the hospitality sector do like cleaning, the housekeeping department and every department we are doing here. So it's a very good thing. and it's a very good experience mm-hmm. in the first year from the last two months